Specialist midwives for smoking in pregnancy. Yep. Tell me what you know, what you've read, what you've been told about smoking in pregnancy. Sometimes I think about it and I think that it's making the baby use its heart and that on its own in the first place, you know, so that when it comes out it's, it's going to be quite able to do them things by okay. itself. Tell me if I'm wrong, Charlie, but you think that by smoking you're making the baby's heart work harder and that will make it stronger. So the way I think of it is, obviously, the baby's heart is is working on its own because, obviously, I'm not feeding it as much oxygen, which isn't as bad, but, you know, the baby's learning to pump that stuff around itself. What happens when you inhale on a cigarette? The carbon monoxide goes into the baby's bloodstream. <clears throat> the baby has much less oxygen. So the baby's tiny heart, and it's tiny, has to start beating a lot harder, a lot faster to try and get the oxygen that is there around the body. Yeah. So the baby's tiny heart has to work so much harder when you're having a cigarette, but it's pounding away and it's under stress and it's under pressure because we are cutting off the baby's oxygen supply. So for every cigarette you have, it's a bit like me putting my hand inside and squeezing the baby's cord and squeezing it for about 40 minutes and cutting off the oxygen supply to baby. Shall we have a look at um, how baby's managing at the moment with the carbon monoxide? Yep. Shall we have a look at what's going through there? Using the latest technology, Lisa will measure the amount of carbon monoxide Charlie is putting straight into her body and the damage it's doing to her baby. You can see the, the clock ticking down at the bottom there. Carbon monoxide is the same poisonous gas that's found in car exhaust fumes. Off you go and blow. Keep blowing, Charlie. Keep blowing. Don't stop. Keep it coming. Keep it coming, Charlie. Empty all the air out of your lungs. As long as you can, keep going. OK. Charlie's baby is entering the danger zone. So there, we're going up. We're on 13, 15, 16, 17. And we're definitely in a red light. And baby's flashing there on a red light. So that is telling us that... It's bad. Yeah. That's scary. Yeah. How does that make you feel? Bad. Yeah, really bad. Charlie has six times more carbon monoxide in her system than is safe for her baby. Your baby is struggling for oxygen. Yeah. And it's saying, help me, you know, yeah? Does that change how you feel today about your smoking? Really feel guilty because, you know, it's the, not the baby's fault. You know that, you know, it's, it's my habit, not the baby's habit. So, so really, I mean, what you've just said there is exactly right. Yeah. You're choosing to smoke, but your baby has no choice. But your baby's smoking too. Yeah. Yeah. Which isn't good. So, based on that. What do you think we should do right now? Stop. Beach to Tuesday. Bye. Bye. Never ever had anybody ever tell me that they felt that smoking was actually helping their baby. And that aspect really shocked me because there's so much misinformation out there. And the most pregnant women know that it's not good, but they might not know the health risks. But to have somebody say to me, but I thought it was strengthening my baby's heartbeat is unbelievable.